Yeah, we're done. Hi, we'll be going live in one minute. So we'll be with you then. Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this St. Patrick's Day. Hope you like my headgear. Um, and it is our birthday, so I've got a really nice cupcake treat. And thank you so much to Treats to You in Dalgany for making these. They're magnificent. So I'm going to be earning this over the next hour and have my little treat afterwards. Hope you're having a nice St. Patrick's Day. Beautiful weather today, a lovely spring day. So in keeping with the uh, St. Patrick's Day theme, our theme for today is Makushla. That is the Irish for, it's like a statement of love. Um, it literally means the pulse of my heart, which is a really nice sentiment, I think. So let us begin by lying down as ever throughout the practice. Listen to your body, only do what feels right for you today. Take rests whenever you need to. So, finding yourself a nice, comfortable position on the mat, lying down, and just beginning to move into the present moment. Letting go of everything that's going on in your life today. Letting go of all of your roles and responsibilities. Letting go of the past and the future. and allowing yourself to slow down and come into the present moment. Thinking about bringing complete stillness to your body. Stillness in the feet, Stillness in your legs. Stillness in your fingers and hands. Stillness in your arms. Stillness in your whole body. Just allowing it to be completely still. Stillness in your mind. Letting your attention move inside your body. Checking for stillness. And noticing in this stillness the movement of your breath. Even though your body is completely still, unconsciously it's moving with your breath, like it has done ever since the moment you were born.
and observing that breath as it moves in through your nostrils, down, down into your belly, allowing your belly to fill as you inhale and then noticing it travel back up from your belly out through your nostrils. Paying particular attention to the movement of your breath from your throat to your belly. As it gently travels up and down from your throat to your belly. Watching the belly fill on the inhale and release on the exhale. And taking three more breaths here. And then bending those knees and drawing the knees into the chest, taking a little bit of movement here. Just massaging your lower back. And then coming to stillness. And holding on to the right shin. Just let the left leg come out long. Letting it go all the way out long, pushing out through the heel of that left leg as you draw this right leg into the chest, the right knee into the chest, flexing the foot. And taking two more breaths here. And letting that right leg come down as you draw the left leg up Again, drawing that knee into the chin, flexing both feet, pushing out through the heel of that right leg. And then bending both knees once again and lifting the right leg across, just having it come across that left thigh. Again, flexing that right foot and then lifting the left leg up. And you might like to stay here or you may want to clasp your fingers around your thigh, your left thigh and maybe drawing that left leg in a little closer to you listening to your body it's quite the stretch for that outside of that right leg so listen to your body just do what feels right two more breaths here and as you breathe, just release into the pose. Softening into it. 
and letting that left leg drift down to the mat let's just take that over to the other side crossing the left leg over the right thigh flexing that left foot and then raising the right leg up keeping the right foot flexed too either staying like this or putting your hands around clasping the fingers around the back of that right leg and maybe drawing the right knee in listening to your body the whole time here and releasing into the pose two more breaths and then allowing that right foot to come down onto the mat and the left and just rolling over onto your side and as you roll onto your side having your shins parallel with the long side of the mat and your thighs parallel with the short side of the mat so you're in a well, right angle at your knee and at your hip. And putting your left hand out straight, right palm on top of it. And we're gonna raise this right palm up, following it with your gaze as you raise it up and bring it all the way over behind you. And as you do, just adjust your shoulders. And then drawing it all the way back again let's do that two more times nice and slowly drawing the arm all the way over and bringing it all the way back last time all the way over and meeting that left palm once again good let's take it over to the other side so again the shins parallel with that long side of the mat the thighs parallel with the short side left palm on top of right and drawing it the whole way over as you follow it with your gaze adjusting your shoulders and drawing it all the way back and again as you follow it just begin to move that whole upper body nice and slowly and one more time bringing it all the way over and all the way back good and from here let's just come up onto all fours so as we're on all fours here opening those fingers out nice and wide just feeling into the mat with your fingertips and your shoulders over your wrists hips over your knees if your wrists get tired here you've got lots of options you can just flip them around every now and then to give it an opposite bend that will ease them out you might find it easier to be up on your fists or you might find it easier if you've got a blanket or something not quite as high as this a little lower to just raise the wrists up off the mat a little bit so listen to your body and uh, yeah ease out the wrists if they get tired feet straight out behind you so when you look through you don't want to see your feet and a nice long back here thinking about finding space now from the tailbone all the way up the spine to the crown of the head letting that attention go back to that breath that we did at the start just noticing the movement from the throat to the belly and the belly to the throat.
And let's do a couple of cat cows now to get the spine starting to move. So tilting the pel pelvis, letting the belly drop, just opening the chest and drawing a little arc with the nose to gaze forward for your cow pose. And rolling into your cat, so starting to, from the tailbone, rounding through the spine all the way to the crown of the head. And moving it back into your cow and through to your cat. And you can think maybe about synchronizing this with your breath. So as you exhale, coming up into your cat. And as you inhale, moving into your cow. Don't worry if you get mixed up between the inhale and the exhale. It doesn't matter that much. It's just nice to do one movement on an inhale and flow through to the other movement on the exhale. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, meeting back in our tabletop neutral spine pose. And from here, stepping the right leg up and just allow the chest and the, the belly to lie on the thigh of that right leg. And we're going to step the left leg up into the same position so that our whole chest and belly are on our um, thighs. And then from here, making your way up to stand. Good, I'm going to go to the other end of the mat. Uh, so we are going to do a couple of sun salutes now to get ourselves moving and warmed up. Um, I know all of my regular yogis know your sun salutes inside out at this point. If you're not so familiar with them, I'm going to go through them quite slowly. If you are familiar with them, go at your own pace. So let's raise the arms up sweeping them out to the side as we come into a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to coming into your forward fold. And then come halfway up. So letting your hands come just above your knees, elbows in, nice long spine, looking down at the mat. And forward fold, bending those knees as much as you need to. We're gonna step the right leg back stepping it back as far as you can and then drop the right knee down open out the foot and rise up into a low lunge arms up let's take a breath here letting the hands come down either side of that foot we're stepping back into a plank Opening the fingers out nice and wide like you did in your tabletop, a step back into a plank. Little micro bend in the elbows. And then let your knees come down to the mat. Open out the feet. Keeping the elbows in. See, can you get your chest to the floor before your belly? And then let the belly come down. And allowing the chest to rise away from the mat. Keeping your gaze on the mat for a little back bend, cobra, and push up into your tabletop. And we're going to come to our first downward dog of the day. So curling those toes, pushing your hips back to your heels, lifting the knees up and just keep the heels up, keep the knees bent and find some length in that spine as you push your hips back towards the back of the mat. Trying to keep the shoulders nice and broad so they're not coming up around your ears. And let your gaze go towards your belly button. Now that you've got a lovely long spine, 
you can begin to think about pedaling those legs, starting to just open them out as much as is comfortable for you. And when you get to your edge of comfort, come to stillness. Let's take two breaths here. Now we want to get that right leg up to the top of the mat. Lots of options here. You can come down onto your knees and step the right foot forward. Or you can just let it come to wherever it goes to and then lift it the rest of the way. Or you can step it right through. So whatever works for you, dropping that left knee down, open the foot. Low lunge. And hands down either side of the foot, stepping that left foot up to meet the right, bending those knees as you come all the way up. Good. Let's do that on the other side. Arms come out as we come into our forward fold. And then halfway lift. Long spine here. And forward fold. We're going to step that left leg back. Dropping the knee, open the foot for your low lunge. Taking a breath. And hands down, either side of that foot, stepping back into a plank. Having a micro bend in the elbows here, let's take a breath. And then come down on your knees, feet. Elbows in as you try to get that chest down to the mat before the belly, then the belly. And lifting the chest up. Pushing up through your tabletop into your downward dog. So hips back to the heels, lifting the knees up. Finding that length in the spine first. Don't worry if your heels are way up off the floor or if your knees are really bent. That's absolutely fine. Just think about that nice long spine. And then getting that left leg up to the top of the mat, whatever way works for you. Dropping the right knee as we come into a low lunge. And hands down either side of that foot, stepping the right foot up to meet the, the left. Bending those knees, coming all the way up. Good, bringing those hands into prayer. Sun salutes are such a great way to just give an all over body movement and stretch. So bringing the hands into prayer, just checking in here with how you're standing. So looking down at your feet that they're pointing straight in front of you equal weight on both feet and having your feet your weight distributed across your feet so uh, the, uh, right across the balls of your feet and the backs of your feet and thinking here now of your ears being over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips Letting that attention go back to the breath as it travels from the throat to the belly and the belly to the throat. And then with each breath, just thinking about the spine opening up, finding a little bit more space. As you begin to become a little bit taller. Almost as though there's a string coming out from the crown of your head, just helping you to open out. Two more breaths here. And then letting those hands come up over your head. 
as we take a little bend towards the right. So, towards the left. <laughs> I'm never very good on my left and right. Let me just come to the front so you can see what I mean. So we're finding a really nice stretch here from that right foot all the way up your right side traveling over the right hip up over the ribs of that right hand side and your right arm and at the same time we want to keep these shoulders in line with each other so that we're not collapsing here we still got a gap between your hip and your lower rib cage so it's not about how much you bend it's just about having a little bend now let the left hand come down onto your hip and see, can you reach a little deeper with that right hand? Good. And coming up straight. Let's just shift the weight into that right foot. We're going to do a little balance here. So lifting this left leg up, just holding on to the shin and finding your point of balance. Still thinking about those ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Find a little gaze point. Good, and from here, we're gonna move into a tree pose. So if you're familiar with a tree, you might want to just bring your foot up against your thigh and come into your tree if you're not so familiar coming back down to stand with your feet hip distance apart turn that left foot out so it's at a right angle and then you can lift it up to so your heel is just above your ankle and maybe that's enough for you or you can put your foot onto your calf and bring those hands into prayer. Don't worry if you're wobbly. That's okay. Find a gaze point. Soften that gaze. And let your attention once again move to that breath as it travels up and down your body. Good. One more breath. And then letting that foot come down onto the mat. Bring the toes together, the heels a little bit apart. And we're going to sit back into a chair. So just bending those knees. And from here, you can keep your hands in prayer pose or if you like, Raising the arms up over the head. Taking two more breaths here. And then draw the hands together in prayer again, this time letting the elbows come out opposite each other. And we're going to take a little twist to the left. So think about your belly button turning as you take a twist, letting the back of your right elbow come against the back of that left leg. Think about your sternum looking at your thumbs. Nice stretch, nice twist. Two more breaths here. Good. Letting the body come back down to look at the floor. Hands onto the floor and then coming all the way up to stand. Good. Once again, letting those feet come hip distance apart. Checking in that you've got equal weight in both feet. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Finding that space in the spine. And letting the hands come up 
over the head as we take a little bend to the right. And again, just allowing that stretch to happen from your left foot all the way up that left leg, through the hip, through the waist, the rib cage, up over the left arm to the fingertips. One more breath here. Keeping those shoulders in line with each other, letting that right hand come down onto your hip as you allow the bend to go just a little bit deeper. Good, one more breath. And coming up straight as we shift our weight into that left leg. And we're gonna now raise the right leg. And you might find this side different to the other, maybe easier, maybe more challenging. Finding your gaze point. Keeping those ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Good. One more breath. Good. And then allowing that right leg to come down, turning it at a 90 degree angle. And then finding your tree pose that works for you today. So the foot just above the ankle, or on the calf, or on up, onto the thigh, whatever feels good for you today. You might find it easier to have your hands on your hips, or in prayer, or maybe you want to bring them up over the head, and maybe open them out. Two more breaths, keeping that gaze on a point, soft gaze, and drawing the hands together, letting the foot come down, and heel toeing them together, having those toes touching, heels a little bit apart, as we once again sit down into our chair pose. And maybe letting the arms come up over the head. Two more breaths here. And then bringing those hands back into prayer, having those elbows opposite each other as we take our twist this time to the right. And again, thinking about your sternum, looking at your thumbs. One more breath here. And letting the body come back into the center, hands down onto the mat. And this time we're going to step on down onto all fours and push back into a child's pose. Lots of options here. Maybe try having your knees out and your toes touching as you let your hips move back and put one fist on top of the other to have a little rest. Watching your breath as it travels from your throat to your belly and back to your throat. Three more breaths here.
and making your way back onto all fours and stepping the right foot up and then the left having the belly and chest on those thighs as we then come all the way up to stand good let's take it to the long side of the mat so having your toes pointing towards the front towards the front of the long side if that makes sense and the legs about two two and a half hips width apart and then opening the arms out into a T and once again let's just tune into that breath and really feel the spine beginning to open up and lengthen finding that space two more breaths here And bringing the hands down onto the hips. Let your right hand come to just where your leg joins your uh, hip. And we're going to swing this right foot around to face the top of the mat. And I want you to feel how your thigh, how the whole leg turns with it. As you then just bend that right knee so the knee is over the right ankle. With your back foot, just let it come around so it's at a so it's looking at the, the top left hand corner of your mat. Your feet, your heels should be in line with each other, or maybe the heel in line with the with the arch of your foot, but you're in a pretty pretty much a straight line. Let's bring that right arm onto the right leg, and we're gonna stretch this left arm up. So tuning in here to your shoulders, just checking that the shoulders are stacked on top of each other, the whole front of your body is open. So if you find this challenging and you find that you're kind of falling forward, just bring your hand onto your hip and you might find that a little easier to keep the whole front of the body open. If you're up here and this is okay, you can let the arm travel on down so it comes over the ear let's take three breaths here allowing that breath to travel from the outside edge of that left foot all the way up the body to the fingertips and drawing that left hand down onto your hip just allowing the body to come up we're going to let this left foot move across so your feet are hip distance apart and your hips come to look at the front of the mat you can step that back leg back a little bit so you're up on the toes of that back foot having the right knee over the right ankle. Let's just raise the arms up here for a nice high lunge. Two more breaths here. And allowing the arms to come down onto the hips again. Let that back foot come forward a little bit so you can get it flat on the mat. Still keeping this right knee bent and squaring up the hips as we come into our warrior one, which I think today we'll call Cúhollán, who was a great Irish warrior for the day that's in it, our Cúhollán pose. Softening the shoulders having equal weight on both feet. So think about putting a little bit of weight into that back foot and maybe into the outside edge of that back foot. will just help you keep your weight evenly distributed. Two more breaths here. And 
Good, and allowing the arms to come down behind you as you draw a little arc with the nose to look up at the ceiling and have a nice back bend. Allowing the chest to be nice and open. One more breath. And bringing the body upright, bending from the hips, coming forward, letting the chest come forward, hands coming on to the mat. And allow that front leg just to open out as much as is comfortable. One more breath here. And then bending that right knee, stepping the left knee up and coming all the way up to stand. Good, let's take that to the other side. So once again, let's come into our star, toes or feet facing the long side of the mat, arms out in a T, keeping the shoulders soft, finding that space. One more breath. And letting the hands come down onto the hips. Again, just feeling where your thigh joins your hip here as you turn that left foot to face the back of the mat, bending this left knee so it's over the ankle. And then we're gonna let this back foot just turn so it's facing the top right hand corner of your mat. Again, the heels more or less in line with each other. Nice and open here with your body as we bend forward, letting our left arm come onto our left thigh. And again, listening to your body here, working with what works for you. So what we really want is for our chest to be open and our shoulders to be in line with each other so they're not falling over. So whatever way you can achieve that, maybe with your hand on your hip, maybe with your arm up, straight pointing to the ceiling, or maybe let it come all the way out past your ear for a nice full extended side angle. Two more breaths here. And drawing that arm all the way down as you allow the body to come upright. We're going to step this right foot across, maybe stepping that left foot a little bit over towards the left so that your feet are hip distance apart. Squaring up the hips, let that right leg come back a little bit so you're on your toes of your right foot. Still keeping those ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips as we raise the arms up for our nice high lunge. Two more breaths here. And then letting that right foot just hop forward enough so that you can get it flat on the mat. Equal weight in both feet. Really allowing that stretch to happen in our Kuhalan warrior pose. Two more breaths here. Good, and then letting the arms come down behind you drawing that little arc with the nose so we get a nice stretch through the front of our body and a nice back bend. Two more breaths. Coming upright and bending from the hips as you come over this front leg 
hands either side of the leg and again listening to your body here as you maybe begin to open out that left leg a little bit. Two more breaths here. And bending that left knee, rising all the way up. Let's step that right foot up to meet the left. And raising the arms up, sweeping them out to the side as you come into a forward fold. Coming down onto all fours and swinging down to sit. As we sit here with the, your feet straight out in front of you, your legs straight out in front of you, your feet pointing upwards in your staff pose. And let's just bring those arms out into a T and take a little turn to the right. Two more breaths here. As we swing it all the way around to the left. And back to straight, letting those arms come down by your sides. And we're going to just swing around onto all fours once more as we draw that right knee up to the right wrist and let your right foot come in front of the left knee, stepping that left leg back as we come to lie down in our swan pose, which I think we'll have as children of Lear pose. Just letting your breath travel throughout your body here as you ease into this pose. Taking four more breaths here. And then making your way back up onto all fours as we take that to the other side. So left knee up to the left wrist, walking that left foot across, letting the right leg come back as we come into our children of Lear pose on this side. Taking three more breaths here, allowing your breath to reach any places that need attention. And once again, coming back onto all fours and then making your way down to lie. And finding your way into Shavasana here. So letting the palms look up to the ceiling, letting the, la the feet just flop out to the side as you completely relax. 
before I take you through your relaxation and meditation. I just want to thank you very much for joining me and thank you so much to all of our patrons for your support over the last year. We really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you very much. We are back again live in the Facebook group. So back in the normal place on Friday at six o'clock. We'd love you to join us there or of course on demand at whatever time suits you. So I will bid you a namaste and a very happy St. Patrick's Day. As now I invite you to completely let go. Allow your body to just process all of that work that it's done. And as you let go your toes and the soles of your feet and the tops of your feet, letting go your ankles, your shins and calves, your knees, front and back. Letting go the fronts of your thighs, and the backs of your thighs, the whole of your legs, just let them go. Letting go your glutes, the small of your back, the length of your spine, the back of your rib cage, your shoulder blades, just let it go. Letting go your shoulders, chest, rib cage in front, the whole of your belly and pelvic area, just let it go. Letting go your armpits and upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, and backs of your hands, palms of your hands and your fingers. The whole of your arms, just let them go. Letting go the back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaws, chin, lips and tongue. The whole of your body, let it go. The whole of your body, let it go. taking a little time for gratitude here to your breath, gratitude to your body, gratitude to yourself. And just repeating the word in your head, Makushla, Makushla. Allowing that word to continue to repeat. As you begin to notice your breath moving from your belly to your throat and from your throat to your belly. Makushla, Makushla. A 
and beginning to connect here with your inner self, your true nature. And imagine that you're walking through a forest, noticing the sounds, the smells, the textures, Noticing all the lovely trees, feeling the sun keep you warm. And seeing a little opening where you hear a river babbling. the birds singing. Find yourself a nice place to sit and watch and enjoy. <laughs> 